Burns in Wallingford after a spectator was hit with a discus at a track meet. News 8's Josh Einbloom looked into what happened. He's live for us and News 8 Control with the latest. Josh? And we received several emails through our reported feature from concerned viewers after they told us someone had been struck with a discus at a recent track meet in Wallingford. We looked into it and are told by organizers an investigation has been launched. I just saw a huge crowd. There was, I noticed there was like ambulance and stuff over there. So I mean, I probably was here during the time of the incident. An accident at a Wallingford High School has people surprised. I don't think anyone in a high school sport should get hurt like that. So I mean, if they could figure out how to prevent that in the future, I think that would be great. On Tuesday, she and high school hosted the Southern Connecticut Conference's Outdoor Track Championship event, an exciting day for teams from all over the state to showcase their athletic prowess. But it was here where the discus competition was held where one wild throw left someone injured. According to reports from the conference, a discus flew out of the marked sector and into the stands, striking a relative of a West Haven student athlete. Anything can happen, so you just need to uh, be on your feet. 19-year-old Andrew Strongin says he's a former member of the track and field team at Sheehan. He thinks when fans attend any sporting event, it's important they remain vigilant. Just prepare for anything that can happen, honestly. Um, you know, there's a lot of room for injuries. We reached out to the conference that hosted the championship for comment and received the following statement. It reads in part, quote, the spectator was immediately treated by two athletic trainers who working the event on site and were assisted by additional medical professionals who were in attendance. There is an investigation ongoing regarding the incident, end quote. I think there should be some investigation. Jay Borelli is a parent with a student at West Haven High School. He tells us he thinks the investigation is a good start, but taller barriers should also be built. I would think they should probably have to be built higher or at least, you know, keep you a safer distance from where, you know, the distance is being thrown. It's not clear to what extent the spectator was injured and they have not been identified. We'll be sure to keep you updated as we learn more. For now, we're live in News 8 Control, Josh Sheinblum, News 8.